Hi guys, I'm Freya, the founder of Fix8, and I'm gonna do a really quick homebrew kombucha demo to show you how easy it is to make at home. I'm gonna be using our Fix8 homebrew kit, which is available on our website, and after about 10 to 14 days, you should have something like this. So, before we get started, kombucha, as you know, is a raw fermented tea, and it contains four ingredients. So I've got our tea, this is a loose leaf green and black tea. This is the blend we use at Fix8 and comes in the kit. And then I've got our SCOBY, so we're using liquid SCOBY. I've actually already measured some out, but this is the bottle of SCOBY. You can also, after a while, you get the physical SCOBY. Um, this is just a byproduct of the fermentation, so you don't need it to start brewing with, but it's always fun to show. Um, we've got sugar, so 70 grams per litre. So I've already measured out 70 grams and filtered water, which I've already measured out as well. So they're the four ingredients, tea, scoby, sugar, water. Okay, so to get started, I've already sterilized my jar. So I've got a nice clean jar. I've got my cloth, which is gonna cover it and my elastic band. And I've also got a label because it's really important that we note down the date and what we did in the jar, because you think you'll remember, but 10 days later, you'll have forgotten. So to get started, completely cleaned my apparatus and my equipment. I've started steeping my loose leaf tea. So I just measured out seven grams of loose leaf tea and then I've boiled it in about 200 milliliters of water. So that's been steeping for about five to 10 minutes. I'm now gonna strain it into my brewing jar. So the temperature is about 70, 70 degrees now. So I'm gonna strain out the tea concentrate. And I just do this for time because you can just brew a whole litre of tea, but it takes ages to cool down. So after I've got my hot tea concentrate, I'm gonna immediately add the sugar because we really want this to dissolve. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and give it a nice swoosh. So it's really, really important that the sugar dissolves, otherwise it won't really be accessible to the yeast, which are gonna use it as fuel to convert it into amazing organic acids, probiotic bacteria, B vitamins, enzymes. Okay, so our sugar has been dissolved. I'm gonna add in 800 milliliters of filtered water, which brings it up to a litre. And then I'm gonna check the temperature of this so I can feel with, feel with my hands that it's room temperature, which is great because we never want to add kombucha scoby to anything hotter than 30 degrees, otherwise it will kill the yeast and bacteria. So very simply, I'm just gonna pour in my scoby. I'm gonna pop the cloth over the top, seal it with an elastic band, and then I'm gonna label it. And I'm gonna label this one Virga because, well, why not? So this is gonna be my Virga brew. And I'm probably gonna drink it in 10 days time with a Virga in hand. So I'm gonna write the date, which is the 7th May. And I used seven grams of tea, 70 grams of sugar, and it's a one liter brew. And that is really it. You're gonna label the kombucha and you're gonna leave it somewhere warm for between 10 and 15 days, in which time you'll start to see the SCOBY pellicle growing on top. And when you taste it and it's at that perfect sweet sour spot, decant it into a bottle, pop in some flavorings, put it in the fridge and enjoy. And it's as easy as that. So that is a very quick guide to brewing kombucha at home. I hope you enjoy and happy brewing.